Okay, so this is the window in a shape of a rectangle with a semicircle. So there's two different shapes here. And they're likely to ask you about things like perimeter and area. And if you read part one and part two, that's exactly what they ask you. So for part one is asking you to find the perimeter. That's made up of two things. It's made up of the bottom half and half the circumference of a circle. So there's two parts to it. And you're going to have to find them and add them together at the end, obviously. Okay? Some of those are given. We do have 50, so we know that's 50, and obviously this side is 50. What about the bottom half, or the bottom of this? It's 14, it's 14 plus 14, good. Because up, as you can see up here, we have 14 plus 14 would be the top across the bottom of that. So 28 is uh, the left-hand side. So immediately we can jump straight in on the left-hand side and we have 128. The right-hand side, not as straightforward because if you're using a circle or circumference of a circle, you need a formula. So the formula, when you look it up, is L is 2 pi R, or the perimeter is 2 pi R. They gave you pi in the question. They said pi was 22 over 7, so it's 2 by 22 over 7 by our radius of 14. 7 goes into 7 once, and 7 goes into 14 twice. So we end up with 88. 2 by 2 is 4. 4 by 22 is 88. Okay. Now that's the area of a, or the circumference of a full circle. We need half of that because we're talking about uh, half circles. So finally, before we move, uh, fill it back in, divide by 2, and you get 44. Put your answer back in, add the two together. And we get 172? Yeah. 172 centimeters squared. Okay? So not, uh, not too difficult to sum, but definitely one to keep an eye on um, in your work. Uh, there's two separate sections to be done. The first section was easy enough. Find the area of the bottom part. The other part you had to use a formula for, so just be careful. Okay? All right, for the second shape we're talking, uh, or the second part of the question, we're talking about finding the area of the shape. This time we need to use the book, but two formulas for area, but it's... So we need to split our shape into two. We have the rectangle down the bottom, which is 50 by 28. And we have the semicircle up the top, which has a radius of 14. Both of those are going to have to be added together in the end. And that is going to give us our final answer. So it's the area of the rectangle plus the area of the semicircle. The rectangle is 50 by 28. And the area of the semicircle means half the area for a circle. So pi, they told us, was 22 over 7. Or was 14 to be squared. And you can use your calculator to tidy that up. Probably try and tidy it up in two halves rather than go the whole way to the end. Now, so when you use your calculator for the two halves there, you get 1400 and you get 308. Mm. And the final step is to add those two together, so you get 708. And remember, we're talking about area, so it is centimetres squared. Okay.